So obviously everybody in America is having this discussion last week about a Chinese spy balloon floating over America. Um, and that brings a few things to mind. Um, one, I'm not a fan of just wholesale believing that with all of the NORAD and defense mechanisms that the United States government has, that a balloon was able to float without being noticed for however long. Now, does that mean that I wholesale believe that the American government is totally incompetent? No, I think they know exactly how to come take money from its citizens, so forth and so on, and war hawk and continue to be warmongers and things of that nature, which aligns that with the concept of defense. So I don't think that they're fully incompetent there. I'm just not convinced that that's really a thing. I mean, I know that the balloon was there, but how it got there, who's responsible for it, if this current regime is down with China and allowed it to be there, all of these are questions that we generally, the general public, does not have an answer to. You just don't. And it speaks to a bigger issue that most Americans should be thinking about, which is, what is your survival and defense and production plan for your home, your family, where you are? This video is brought to you by BlackGunsMattersShop.com. Get all of your pro-liberty, pro-gun, pro-freedom solutionary gear at BlackGunsMattersShop.com. Just like police have no moral or legal obligation to protect you, you kind of are skating on thin ice if you think that the American government is, is really going to go out of its way unless you present a general interest to them. If you think that the American government is going to go out of its way to defend you, you are sorely mistaken. And not having any type of defense, home defense, community defense, network of people, um, having no way of uh, evaluating and, and objectively assessing information, if you just believe what CNN or Fox or whatever, OAN or Newsmax or whatever, if you just believe these things without some critical thinking, yet again, you are playing into the hands of ignorance. And so an 80,000 feet in the air balloon that cost about 300 and some odd million dollars to shoot down that should not have even been there in the first place is either gross negligence because that governmental regime is down with the Chinese or is gross incompetence because they were tricked by something out of a wily e. Coyote moment. Either one of those does not bode well for the American people. And you, as the American public, should really evaluate your, your relationship in that assessment. Do you have a nest team? Do you have, have you tried to create networks with people across the country that unfortunately you may have to leave the area where you're from? Do you have one or two people in different parts of the country that you could rely on or interact with in the emergency like a chemical attack? Do you have gas masks? Do you have a little bit of canned food saved up, a little bit of water? Do you have the means or wherewithal to potentially take that if you needed it from, you know, a home that may have evacuated? Do you know how to survive? These are the questions that come, that we should be asking ourselves outside of just blaming Joe Biden or if a Republican president was in office and saying, oh, if he was there, that wouldn't have happened. That does not solve the problem. That does not showcase, am I prepared to deal with this regardless of what talking head is in office? That's the question that we have to ask ourselves. That's being a solutionary. Our work at the Solutionary Center and abroad, um, completely free based on your voluntary donations, give sendgo.com forward slash solutionary. Our work is survival courses as well, stop the bleed classes as well, conflict resolution as well, critical thinking as well. These are all a part of, uh, for lack of a better term, the curriculum that our classes provide to Americans for free. The reason why this is important is because it's not just about pointing the finger at what went wrong, it's about looking at that potential crisis and taking that as the opportunity to learn and prepare for if this may have happened to me. Our work involves high-level thinkers or people specialized in these survival fields to make sure that we're engaging and educating the community in little ways that they can be more prepared. Years ago, people that were called preppers or survivalists looked like they were this weirdo conspiracy theory group of people, 
But over the last few years, when the government closed down businesses and grocery stores, they don't look so conspiracy theory in nature now. So we could learn from that. And our work at the Solutionary Center is in alignment with that. So make sure you donate, givesingo.com forward slash solutionary. Sign up for a class at solutionarylifestyle.org so we can continue to educate the people that need this type of information. Be safe. Be solutionary.